Do you believe parents should consent to their kids to actually get a BBL? I heard this 18-year-old girl got a BBL that got approved by like her parents. I don't agree with it because it's like 18, you haven't had kids, your body's not even developed, so I don't Facts. understand why there would be a push for it. For if that. I had a daughter and she's like, oh, dang, I want to get a BBL, go get a BBL in your study. Yeah. Ah. Jeff Bezos creates something like Amazon to make our life easy. We should just be happy about that. How you spend your money, hey, thank you for creating what you created. I still got to pay for the product. The product's ain't for free. Do you use Prime? It came quick, but we're consumers. This is the first time that coming quickly is a good thing. This whole Diddy situation. What's your thoughts about what's happening at Diddy? I want to know who in the world counted a thousand bottles of baby oil? Like, like we didn't no. stop at 392. We went and count. Like, did we round up? Did we round down? He's a black man. Maybe he just wants to be well moisturized. Like, what's the problem? At what point do you forgive? R. Kelly's unforgivable. All right, guys, welcome back to The Social Path. I'm your host, Harry Obamajay. Got my super fly guest here. Miss Amanda Lee, welcome back. Welcome back. Let me get some. Let me get some. Oh my gosh, some. my whole government. Don't oh, yeah, that's right. My bad. My bad. I said your own name. Bro. Hey, well, at least people know who you are now. Look, you're going to be super famous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, but before we get into it, just want to say, guys, thank you guys for watching. We, you know, we super appreciate all the views and the, the subscribers. You know, hey, look, if you like what you see, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. If you don't, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button anyway. Just in case you change your mind, all right? Um, but yeah, we're super excited to be back. Obviously, you see some some new changes to the set. We just keep thinking, you know, keep making ways, finding ways to make this place more, you know, adaptable. We try and make this place, you know, look a little bit more better for you guys. And we're always changing it up. So stay tuned. We keep things on your feet. Um, but we got super topics to talk about. Um, but first and foremost, definitely want to catch up with Amanda to see how she's been. Amanda, what, what's going on? Like, what's how you been so far since we last spoke? Oh my God, it's been such a long time. So I recently went to Atlantic City. Okay. And wait, wait, where'd you stay? Oceans, Borgata. Borgata. Okay. And I was on the slot machine. I actually won twenty thousand dollars. So you know, I just been using that to travel. Wait, you won twenty G's? Twenty G's. Doing slot machines? Yeah, crazy, right? My luck. Wait, you play slots and you won twenty G's? Yeah. How come you didn't tell me about that though? Because I'm just kidding. Oh, that's gross, man. Life just been lifing. Yo, I think I think life has been lifing for everybody. Yo, girls stay lying, bro. What? <laughs> A little white lie. Okay. You know? Hey, you still single? Huh? 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 <laughs> I still got dating stories. Okay, go ahead. You know, we love, we love to hear the story. Hey, hey, look up for future episodes. We're going to have a storytelling episode. It's going to be towards a Halloween, like a Halloween special. So stay tuned for that. We're super excited about that. But yeah, if you got some stories, sure. I got too many stories. I got I got stories too, but that's not... No, you, you know, really do have some stories. Yeah, you know, I got... Your stories might actually be just as good as mine. No, nah, I don't really got stories. I'm just joking. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. What's your stories? So right now I've been watching like a lot of podcasts. Okay. Um, trying to get into that, seeing what everybody's talking about. I ran across this one podcast that kind of caught my eye. So, okay, was it Social Path? Yeah, I mean that too. But if you're not, not watching the Social Path, nothing else. Please, I want to hear I nothing mean, else. All right? Granted, I love it here. <laughs> I just play. I love it here. Ahead. You know, you love we it love here. We love all podcasts. I love Go it ahead. here too. No, but there's just this this one podcast kind of caught my attention because I love listening to men from like men's perspective okay like me okay go ahead yeah and I think it's like this person he gives like the honest raw truth yeah okay like me uh, keep going. Uh, yeah right and I think that it's been like my favorite so far hmm okay I'm a little jealous keep going so that's what I've been into what what does this person talk about he talks about real shit like what I feel like he gives a lot of advice to to men that are probably dating and they want to date a certain kind of caliber of female, the do's and the don'ts, which is very important okay. because there's a lot more don'ts nowadays than do's. You know, you know what I'm finding out or realizing as I get older? I think everybody's just afraid of being alone. So like this alone syndrome thing. Mm -hmm. You know, we keep raising that ceiling for the people that we meet. Yeah, that's why we end up running back to our exes. Mm, that's that's deep. That that's that's then that, it's that's, like, uh, I tried this out, it didn't work. Let me go back a, for what I know. That sounds like therapy is needed at that end, you know what I mean? <laughs> um no, but it's true though. No, it's true. We we, we I can't think to we've do all that. been we've all been at fault for that, no? You've never went on a date and been like, mm, it's not that bad where I was at before. I mean, I've went on dates before where yes, I do that whole comparison thing, like, man, she don't got this. She don't yeah. got what she this girl used to have. Also, men do it too. Of course. I will have to ask though. 
do men date females for beneficial reasons? Um, like, would you date a girl that could do something for you, but maybe there's another girl that can't do that same thing? You know, you and never, then you'll cut that girl off and then be with the one um, that can do you things want for honesty? you. You want some honesty? You want some honesty? Yeah, because I have friends that All are right. actually going through that right now. And I, you know, you know, when we have girl time and we talk about these things, I'm coming from a female perspective. So I really don't know what guys are thinking. And I just want to like direct my friends better. Okay. Hey, shout out to Desperate Daters. This is some stuff that we talk about on that show, but um, I'll give you a little snippet. Mm-hmm. All right. So if we, us men, right? And it's vice versa too. I know women do the same thing. If a guy meets a girl that has some of these traits and this other girl doesn't have these traits, but she has something else, we'll date both of you guys. And that's it, real shit. And to be honest, it'll be like, uh, look, I'm, I'm just telling the truth. I'm not even trying to be a sleaze or nothing. Look, people, it's, this is called a dating game, right? You date both people and you're going to try to figure out who has what to make your final decision. That's why I don't want to date. At this point, I feel like we should just go back to like the old days and just do arranged marriages because I'm trying to make decisions for myself and I clearly suck at it. So at least if somebody else did an arranged marriage for me, I could blame it on someone else because this is not working for me. Uh, yeah. and it, I don't like the concept of dating. Like dating, you know, you think of like dating numerous people at a time. I don't want to do that. I don't want to feel like I'm in a competition. I don't want to know like you're seeing me on Thursday and then you're seeing Sasha on Saturday. That's not comforting. How am I supposed to know that you're the one for me if you're not really into me? I feel like when a guy takes a girl on a date, the, the girl has to make all the effort in order for that guy to feel comfortable that he's on a date with the right person. To want to reciprocate that energy that you want from that person. Does that make sense? Like hmm. typically if a girl makes it easy on us, we will take you serious, man. But if it's more like you just want the experience of going on dates to share that. I don't want that experience. You don't want what experience? I don't want, I don't want that experience of like, I don't need a free meal. I don't need to go out with you and hang out with you. And then you're going to go hang out with someone else. I, I feel like it's, that's not, it's not, it's not sincere. Okay, How are you so, supposed to build a connection? So then are you, are you woman enough to say, hey, I want to go on a date with you? But, Hell but, yeah. I, but I appreciate the offer. I literally. Or do you just go on dates just to go on a date and no. see where it goes? I literally met this guy and he was open and honest with me. He told me that he was dating multiple girls. He okay. kind of gave me his little, you know, his little list that he had at the time. He okay. told me one of them he would just see once here and there. Wait, before you go on, how did you... How did you feel when he told you that I'm talking to multiple girls? I was fine with it because I wasn't oh, really, so, I wasn't interested. So I'm like, you're not going to, you're not dating me. You're not about to add me to the roster. Okay. We were just friends, but I just wanted him to be clear that if I do hang out with you, this is not a date. This mm. is just a hangout because okay. I'm not trying to be included on your roster. Okay. So you, but you said you immediately don't want to be, uh, you know, added to that list. So then that means you're writing that person off. Absolutely. But and he, I told him that. But if I, he, I said, you should continue okay. dating the two people or the three people you've been dating. And if you want and I'm available and you want to hang out, we can hang out. But I, I would not be dating you. Hmm. So being honest eliminates you from being considered. Yes, because I feel like you should still give me that option. So, and it was funny because I, I think low key when I, once I said that, He's just like trying to take it back. I'm like, nah, it's too late because I feel like mm. I'm not about to be in competition with anyone else. And I just I just don't like the concept of dating multiple people at a time, even though that's what it's really there for. It's just not it's just not for me. So what if he lied and just said, no, I'm, I'm, I just started dating. And you know what? I want to see where this goes. But right now I'm not dating nobody. Well, I, I wasn't into him anyway. So I would have <laughs> told him that nah, it's, it's all right. No, but you see what I'm saying? Like people are like they, they hone in on, you know, truth telling or lying on the first date. But you discredit some, you can get discredited if you keep it real. So it may be worthwhile, just saying, it may be worthwhile to, to stretch the truth a little bit during that first date, just to see if you can make it to date number two, date number three, and then at the end of the day, make a decision. Well, I got, I got, um, what is it? It's not trust issues. I have, um, trust issues. That's what you got. No, it's not trust issues. I have, um, settled, not settling down issues. I, I feel like, I don't want to be out here embarrassed. So I'm not going to allow you to claim me. Mm, okay. So I feel like if it's just you and I, it has to be just you and I. So I think if we're hanging out, I probably wouldn't even call it a date. I'd be like, yeah, we hung out. But I would I would never put a, like a title or, or put any more into it than what it really is because 
And you probably out here sleeping with whoever, and I'm no, gonna be out true. here looking no, crazy. I, get it. I, I get gotta, it. I gotta protect that image. Let me ask you a question: Do you go on a lot of first dates? Um. Or at the time, or you know, not you know. I am a very hard person to get a date with. Not trying to toot my own horn or anything like that, but okay. I feel like. I feel like I'm so, as an adult, I've become so introverted. Okay. So for someone to, someone new to meet me and hold a conversation where I actually feel like I want to spend more time with you and get to know you, it's super hard. It's very hard. What's a question on, a, on, on like a first date that you, you don't think needs to be asked anymore? It's like, why do you keep asking that type of question? Like on the dates you go to, like what's a, what's a question that like, it's not necessary to be asking a girl on the first date. Well, I mean, I, no one's ever asked me what I would hope not. People are not asking how many bodies they got on a first date. Because, well, I mean, yeah. that's one thing we're all going to lie about. Of course. Men and, and females. Yeah, of course. I mean, we can lie. We can lie up or down. Yeah. We can lie up because we want to look like, yeah, we get girls. Yeah. And you, you may not be as important, yeah, but, but you got to prove yourself. But it's crazy. Even if you lie, I kind of would know already. I feel like guys that don't get girls, you could tell they don't get girls. Based on what? How thirsty you are. How? Well, Go I ahead. Had... You have a story to tell. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> got a story. So unfortunately. Damn, I hope you're not watching, dude. Yeah. Go ahead. But this wasn't like a, like a, it wasn't completely like a blind date. It was someone that, you know, we kind of... I went to school with the person. Damn, so it was hold some, on, hold on, hold on. Yo, it's dangerous dating this girl. <laughs> I'm just it saying. Is. I'm keeping it real. I'm keeping it real. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Go ahead. But, um, you know, we went to school together. It was years ago. It wasn't even high school. It was junior high. Mm. And, you know, he wanted to reconnect. And I feel like, you know, at the time I was trying to get out of my comfort zone from what I normally go for. So I gave him a chance and we hung out. I'm not even, I don't even want to call it a date because it's, it's just, eh. I don't even want to waste my word and use that as a date. But we hung out. Okay. And immediately, as soon as I got there, I just had like instant regret. And I was just like, I... Wait, you got there how? Did he pick you up or you drove yourself? No, I Ubered it because I felt like from conversation, he was already... Girls do that? Uber themselves? Yeah, I'm just saying. I didn't didn't feel like driving that day. But he just weirded me out so much. I felt it was giving stalker vibes. I was like, I wouldn't even want him to come pick me up because then he might be outside just stalking me. Right. That's so true. I get there and as soon as I saw him, you know, it's been how many years? And the whole time I was like, damn, I would have had so much more fun just being at Target. Like, I was so over it before I even got there. So it just kind of reminds me, this is why I don't do this. You think it's because we're getting older. It's like we need more excitement than just going to like a random restaurant type of thing. I feel like for females, because we have this clock that's ticking um when you're at a certain age and relationship wise you're not where you imagined yourself to be it's it's lonely sometimes that's what I really don't understand about men like like if you have a good girl or you know someone that you know wants to be with you what is in these streets outside because I've been outside these girls be looking crazy oh I know so 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 I don't know what what is outside that's so fun what is a variety just knowing that, you know, you still got it. What is it? P- part of it, part of it is knowing that you still got it. You know, as we get older, we're, we're conscious. Do we still look good? Can we still talk to, you know, another girl that looks just as but good? Or put that energy into the person that you know wants to be with you? Or the one that's always been there for you? I mean, again, if a girl, everybody moves different. If, if somebody shows signs that, man, this is the right person, that person will get the attention. But, but sometimes people kind of get this lost. Going on a first date doesn't mean you actually know my lifestyle. Meaning like, you don't know what I do for a living. You don't know yeah. the time it takes. So sometimes if I don't respond to your messages or it's vice versa, right? I, or you don't respond to my messages. Consideration has to be taken that this person may be actually busy and they're trying to do their best, you know? I don't know if I believe in that. Why? Why not? I feel like, I feel like if I'm into you, as soon as you text me, I'm texting you back. If I'm really not that into you, or maybe if I'm playing games, because then I can't come off oh, too desperate either. So you play games. That's what I'm saying. It's all a game in the beginning. It I don't think any one of us wants to play it. No, but true. realistically speaking, in the Dana world, especially now, it's definitely a game. No, that's true. But again, um, if you hit me up at, let's say, 11.30 p.m., knowing I got to work in the morning, I ain't going to hit you up to the next For day. For the right one, you would. I don't, don't know. Don't lie. Maybe. For the right one, you if would. If you call me after you text me, I may think about two things. It's either this Harry, girl's... You're, you're turning it down? Are you turning it down? 
Because you already know what time, what kind of time it is. It depends on the tux. You're not turning it down. It depends on the tux. It depends on the person. Yo, can honest. you send me five dollars or fifty dollars? I just ended up buying. Nah, Nobody's I'm not asking respond. for that. I'm, I'm not 30, though. I'm not responding. Most of the time, we're just asking for one thing, and it's not money. Are you awake? Or maybe in a different form. Are you awake? Uh, why are you asking? You respond because you don't want to. You don't want to miss that timeline. But again, like it depends on what I got going on the but next that's day. That's a thrill. That's a thrill of it dating thrill. sometimes. It yeah, that's what keeps yeah. it fun. You know, I, but I that's feel not like... dating with a purpose for long term. That's just dating to have fun. There's a difference. <sighs> are you done having fun? Are you are you ready to? I like... feel like your relationship should be fun. The dating process is the most fun part, especially when you first meet someone. It's like the honeymoon phase. If it's not that's fun, true. then. Why am I doing it? If you're if I'm not getting butterflies or I'm not seeing your text messages or your FaceTime calls is not making me smile, like Facts. all that stuff is important. I mean, if if I'm if I'm out there dating, you know, me, I'm just like, be careful with like how you approach a person who's like achieved a certain things or where that person's in life. Because honestly, you say something wrong to a person nowadays, that's it. It could be one yeah. little thing. And you didn't think much of I, what you're saying. I block people without, without any warning. You, yeah, they, they, there's the blockers. Yeah. There's the the ghosters, right? Yeah, I, I feel like I only do that because I have such a terrible time telling people what it really is. Like there was this one guy, I thought he was really nice, but I felt like he was taking too long to make plans. I just blocked them. Jesus Christ! I got nothing <laughs> against them, but it's just like uh, you don't need to continue wasting my time. How long did it take? How long did it take for what? I mean, we met each other. It, I think it was like a week and a half we were talking. Like, how much small talk can we make? Yeah, that's true. Time to see each other. Why don't you guys FaceTime? Before the date, just FaceTime. So, I'm not that comfortable. Well, in the beginning, you got to like make an appointment you for rather FaceTime. Get, you'd rather get dressed, get in an Uber, eat the meal, drink the alcohol, you know, wait you know, you till that. Make, you have to make an appointment for FaceTime. Okay, let me ask you a question. If if a, if a person's FaceTiming you too much, do you feel some type of way about that? Yes, you're not making an appointment. Why are you FaceTiming so should, me? So we you, have not crossed that level. That is that is a level that you have not reached or unlocked so yet. So a guy should text you, hey, man, I'm about to FaceTime you. Be ready. And you gotta schedule Anybody it. doing that, man? You gotta schedule it. There's <laughs> a comfortability. This is why I don't date like new people. It's hard for me to meet people because it's just like, mm, what's your intentions? I already know what you're thinking. Honestly, I think, again, I think we're, we're thinking too much. And the reason why I say we're thinking too much, because there's so much of a variety nowadays. Look at, look at, look at the world we're in, we're in now. Natural is coming back. I hope so. You know, no you more know BBLs. How, you know how hard it is <laughs> against BBLs? It's a hard world for our, us natural bodies. So you're a natural 100%. 100%. Wow, okay. 100%. That's rare nowadays, man. That's rare. Uh, well, hopefully we make a comeback. Because yeah. I feel like there's even been times where I feel like there's girls that have invested in themselves. And if you had a natural body, you were too broke to invest in yourself. So maybe I was too broke to invest in myself, but I just have morals. And at the end of the day, I don't want to be 50 years old. True. With this nice body, but nothing. no, with this crazy looking ass. Right, right, right. Damn. And what do I do with it? Because I've seen a couple of older ladies Damn. and I'm wondering, where do you guys work at with this ass? I've like, seen some grandmothers with some bodies. I'm like, damn. Yeah. I mean, the, the, the body and the face ain't matching. But it's like, what? Like, are you working in the corporate world, world with this with this gigantic ass, this BBO? It's a confidence thing, though. Like, it gives girls the confidence. No, I feel like it, be, it was a cultural thing. I feel like we all know where it started from. Where and then from? we all know. Okay. Well, we're not going to say her name? Nah, nah, nah. nah. We're not going to say it. We'll say it later. Um, we all know where it started from. And then for some odd reason, it migrated over here. Do you know that I, I saw a documentary years ago okay. on um, Brazil? You know, the, the top two things that I saw in that documentary was um, what they fix about themselves, teeth and their bodies. Mm. Isn't that crazy? But they work hard, though. I see the videos all the time. They be working out. After they get... The job after. done. Yeah, so, after. So that's the thing, right? And why we got to lie about it? Just no, give up your doctor. No, but that's the thing, right? If you get a, a BBL. But that, that's what I'm saying. It's a cultural thing. It's so, it's like, it's like going to McDonald's to get a meal. It's, it's so easy and accessible yeah. over there. But like my thing is for, I guess in the United States or whatever, if you get a BBL, you got to keep working out. Like you got to work out so that your I body wish lot, I wish a lot of girls would know, you know? this. I wish a lot of girls especially would know this. the legs like you gotta I see I saw this yeah, video too yeah the legs to ass ratio it has to match Yo, I saw this like toothpick big butt and toothpick I'm like this girl looks like a freaking like queen ant yeah you know yeah. what I'm saying 
And I don't and know. Yeah, it's, at, it's at a point where it's like they go to the doctor and they're like, just give me the biggest ass ever. Like, it doesn't even have to match. It doesn't even have to look natural. I feel like back in the days when when boob jobs were a thing, we wanted it to be natural. Yeah, it was just it was, like so yeah. unspoken. I was just like, give me the biggest ass there is. Yeah. And now you go on TikTok or social media or Instagram and it's a joke now. Like, I think girls make their money from that. And it's not because it looks good. It's because it's ridiculous. I mean, it's still going to make us break our necks. I'm not going to lie. Why? But it's true. Even if it looks like an ant, you still want that? No, I ain't say I want that. I said we, we're still going to break we our necks. We all want to know. We all want to know. Real, real, no, real I, shit. No, no, real shit. No, real shit. We, no, real we'll shit. Don't, li- we'll, don't we'll, lie. Don't we'll, lie. We'll, we'll, we'll do these. Don't lie. What does it feel like, Harry? Because I, because I know, I know what you've experienced one. What? What? what does it feel like? Look, man. What does it feel like? Real shit. Real shit. Harry is a nice guy. I'm sure he is. You know? That gets action. So what's the action feeling like? All I'm saying is this. What's the hype? What's the hype? The hype is really the confidence that this is the hype. Guys like trophies. I know it's crazy to say, right? I have a question because somebody told me that... What question you got? I don't know I'm trying to get, it, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get into you guys' minds. I have... I had someone tell me that men don't marry trophies. Is that true? Men don't marry trophies? They don't marry trophies. They told me that men marry a woman with morals that can raise the children. So can I be a trophy and raise the children? You no, know, men want a girl with morals and all that stuff. But we Do they marry absolutely the absolutely want to represent ourselves with the lady next to us. Okay, so there's hope for me. Because I feel like these good looks, it's been like... But this Not is the thing. My favor. See, this is the thing, ladies. If you have good looks, like Amanda said, your time is ticking. It's not working in my favor, though. I feel if I don't, I'm not sure if if people are intimidated, or it's just not working in my favor but, at all. But, but, but my thing is because like, I know a lot of ugly girls from high school that were really nice, but they were ugly and they. This it sounds shallow, but they're married. They're married with children. Yeah, they're the ones who are married. They're the ones who are happy and looking at y'all like I'm get like, it together. Oh, struggling. Yeah. Struggling. Be- because again, it, it, look, it's like the buffet. Like look, yeah, I'm really nice on the inside. Look, it's like the buffet. My inside and my it's outside like, matches. It's like the buffet effect. Like there's a variety of other options. You do know this, right? So as good as you look, there's a whole bunch of options that guys are going to. So it, it would be the best advice for girls who are very, very pretty. Mm-hmm. Uh, listen to the guy that may not be on on your wavelength, but listen to him. We should all we should all humble ourselves though, because nah, you know there's like you said, there's variety for men, and you know there's a variety for women where there's different men with each of them have more money than the next. Facts. Do you do you, <laughs> do, you do you believe like? I heard this crazy story. Do you believe a oh, um parents should con- consent to their kids to actually get a BBL? Like, I heard this 18-year-old girl got a BBL that got approved by, like, her parents. Like, you think that's something that is acceptable? Like, what do you think about that? I feel like you definitely need your parents' consent. Um, The only tricky thing about that, though, is that, like I said, I think it all goes back to something that's cultural, right? So, you know, I'm from the islands. I'm from Trinidad. I feel like a lot of the times I've had conversations about our carnival like, you know, couples and, and and how do they maneuver their relationship when it comes to carnival time? Are we like super, oh, you can't whine on this person. You can't dance with this person. Is this cheating? I feel like that's talked about in our culture a lot. I know for me, if my man wants to whine on somebody, I'm not going to get upset because that's our culture. So I feel like if you're, con- if you're consenting from your parents that you need to get this in order to do surgery... It might be a cultural thing if they're saying okay. Old, At the end of the day, I don't agree with it because it's like 18, you haven't had kids, your body's not even developed, so I don't Fox. understand why there would be a push for it. Fox. But realistically speaking, in your culture, do you think that... In my culture, what? In your culture, like, I can't even fathom... If my... If like, I, your, your hey. sister going to your parents, hey, mom and dad, can I get a BBL? They would look at my, them like my they were crazy. Box left to Nigeria. Right. Are you kidding me? Right, so I think it's a cultural thing. Oh, I'm Nigerian, by the way. Um, yeah, that's no, no way. Yeah, uh, some if cultures I had a, are just never gonna go for if that. If I had a daughter and she's like, "Oh, dang, I want to get a BBL, go get a BBL in your study." Yeah, ah. that's a big fact. That's a big fact. <laughs> Craziness. And man. I had a friend. She went to DR years ago to get a tummy tuck. Mind you, what's she, a tummy tuck? Go ahead. What's it's like t- when they make your stomach smaller. Well, that's why she wanted it, but she actually did lipo. Okay. And it's crazy because at the time her daughter was like five and um, she came back from getting the lipo, right? 
And like maybe a couple months later, her daughter that's like five at the time told her brother, oh, you need to go back to DR because your boobs are saggy. You need to fix your boobs. Five years old. Yeah. So it's just like, you know, I don't, I have have a daughter myself. Mm, So that's important to me. Yeah. I think that we should be teaching our young ladies to love themselves because realistically speaking, a lot of these bottle girls that get their body done, they're working at the bar. Nah, right? Yeah. Like, nah, yeah. like I don't really see them in the corporate world. I see what you're going. Yeah, I see where you're going with that. Like if you're in, if you're moving your body and your your persona that in that direction, your options now is like Yeah, like what club you work at? Facts. Where you bartending at? Facts. Like it's not that's not something that I would want you think, you think the that, next generation to look up to. Not saying, you know, if you love yourself or if you if that's what you want to do for yourself. I just feel like I'm happy that real bodies are coming back or making a comeback as it should. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't judge. I don't, you know, whether it's natural does or it feel real? It. Does it feel real? Good man. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> but he's not about, saying. So. He's not saying. No, nah, I don't know what you're talking about. What question are you asking again? Um, no, I'm just saying, like, I don't judge. But if natural is back, I think it's good for the population because it's a, it's a lot less pressure on people to invest money. That things like, yo. They don't talk about the stories about how a BBL can actually kill somebody or... No, I think we all know it can kill people. I just think that at this point, people actually don't care. They want to take the risk. And I feel like there's a lot of insecure girls that think that getting their body done is going to give them a wider variety of men. But I'm like, these men don't do that for us. Nah. So why? I'm. It's a no for me. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of insecurities around, but they use BBLs now. In, In today's time, they use BBLs to enhance their only fans like i noticed something right when i'm on ig you see a lot of these people promoting 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 their page mm-hmm. and then all of a sudden you see on their links it has an only fans mm-hmm. so now people are like because people got lazy you know people don't want to really work nobody wants to get education i feel like there's so many you know content creators you know if your life is really that interesting i say go for it but it's just like this facade you know everything that's on instagram everything that's gold doesn't really glitter well, let me ask you a question then is that a good thing or a bad thing um, well, I'm not on Instagram for that reason. No, but seriously, um, is that a good thing or a bad thing that the world is shaping in a way where, yeah, you don't need to go to school. You just need to be able to do something that's outside the norm, which is whatever it looks fine. like. I just think that everybody wants to do the same thing. Okay. Like, why does, why does everybody want to do the same thing? We still need engineers. We still, we, there's so much other things that we, we're still going to need in the next generation. The, how? Why does everybody want to be a content creator? Because the world is changing. Uh, have you heard of AI? AI is changing the game. You know, we, we're not I, need I'm telling you, I was, born, I was born in the wrong era. This is this is not for me. No, nah, I me. think this is the best era. You know why? Because we're we're in the same era of the dot com boom. Remember back in the in the nineties, late eighties, nineties, everything well, was dot com. Well, the eighties, the eighties, uh, yeah, 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 No, but like back in the day, yo. Dot com was everything. Like you have a website, dot com. You want to sell this, dot com. And then you're super rich, super famous, right? Well, we're in those times again. AI. You want to create a, a page or an app? It's mm-hmm. easier now. You just got to tell, you know, chat, whatever it is. Hey, I want to create this and they're going to do it for you. Why do I need to be an engineer and go to school for four years now? I don't need that no more. So you got to learn to adapt. But before... look at how attractive you would probably look at, look to the girls without the BBLs. Nah. Wait, if I'm attracted to them? What no, I'm saying you have a brain. You have a career. You know, how attractive would you look to the girls that's not getting BBLs? Because, you know, BBLs are very superficial. Why would you want to be something and be superficial? Don't you want to be educated? Don't you don't you believe in, you know, you you went through the mud for it. So it's it's so much more rewarding. You don't believe in that? That's that's self personal stuff though. Like Nobody's gonna like if I meet if I meet you right now. You don't care about how I got it. You care about me having it. Why would not I care about how you, you got it? That care. builds character. You wouldn't care, bro. I do care. I do care. You wouldn't care. That's why I don't date scammers because it's not for me. They don't have they don't have any moral character. If a scammer was okay, if a scammer made a hundred million dollars, you wouldn't date him. A <laughs> hundred. <laughs> Now you, got me, now you got me questioning million. my morals. You see what I'm saying? I just feel like I keep I keep it real. I've run into a few and I'm like, look here, don't tell me nothing because if, if the feds come asking, I'm telling. 
I'm telling. I don't want to be looking over my shoulder. You're I not wouldn't, telling. I wouldn't you be scared. Just, if you didn't scare me, you're scared too because you know what he can do to you. That's what I'm saying. But I'm, I, mm, it's just not for me. What I'm just trying to say is I don't think people like female or male, if I meet a female and she has money, I don't care what she's gone through to get it. I appreciate the fact that she that's not has me. it. That's not, all right, so she got an OnlyFans. You don't care how she oh, got no, it? No, 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 all right, no, then. No, no, exactly. No, no, no. Exactly my well, point. Well, um, of course, though. I mean, that fact is she prost- in. She's prostituting on the side, but oh, she's just crazy. like high priority prostitute. You know, she's, she's, not even, she's not even on the socials. You don't care? Uh, of course I care. That pussy done then been ran through for the Jesus. money that she got. And she, mm, family you know? show. Um, oh, of course I of course I care. It, of course it depends on what you do, but how yeah, you but, but how depend. you got through the mud and all that, the journey. I don't care about that. I'm a firm believer that all money is not good money. And I, I've said that a couple of times and I believe it because I think that that's a part of the society. We just think that all money is good money and it's not. Mm-hmm. All money comes with a lot of different things that, you know, we might not experience, but it can be passed off to our children. I I don't know. I'm, I'm just like, maybe I'm old school. I believe in that type of stuff. I believe in karma. I, I believe in like, you don't treat people the way you want to be treated. I, I believe in that stuff. So that's why I feel like, I mean, I'm not going to church every Sunday, so I'm not trying to make it seem like I'm a saint, but I just think that these things are important to live by. Mm-hmm. So let me ask you a question because I know it's it's been on social media a lot, right? This whole Diddy situation. What's your thoughts about what's happening? At Diddy? I want to know. I, I'm not sure if you're thinking it or you at home watching is thinking this. Who in the world counted a thousand bottles of baby oil? Like, like we didn't Yo. stop at 392. We went and count. Like, did we round up? Did we round down? I just think that's just... I looked at, when I first saw it, I was just like, is this for real? Yo, when I first saw the report, it said Diddy got arrested and... It was quick. It said Diddy got arrested for them finding a thousand baby oils, I'm like, right? You know, he's a he's a black man. Maybe he just wants to be well moisturized. Like, what's the problem? Well, that's why I said I'm like, yo, since when is baby oil illegal, right? Yeah. I'm looking, I'm looking at my, my my closet like, yo, maybe I should get rid of this thing. You know, I'm too hot. You no, know, I try to <laughs> baby oil up today, make sure I'm not. Well, I, you know, but it, it is dry. it's a sad thing because like we just talk about person working hard, going through the mud. Diddy. Did he, for, pre- for the I'm, most part, worked, worked his his. I agree for a long time. But I think that, like most men, they reach a certain point, and did men deserve, in power, do you, do men you, in power, go ahead. have a downfall, right? Okay. Or when you reach a certain level, you start you start treating people like shit. And I feel mm. like we've all seen that Diddy's been treating people like like shit for a very long time, even back in the day from. From Cheesecake Factory times. Oh yeah, the walk. From, yes, from not Brooklyn? Cheesecake Factory. What is it? Junior Cheesecake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, you yeah. didn't have to make them people walk across the boroughs like that, and Three then on top of walk. that, and then on top of that, they still didn't have a, a career, which was kind of you know messed up. Well, of course they did because you knew who they were. They didn't capitalize on their name. That's their fault. And no, I th- I think there was some things between no, Diddy's no, label no, and no. them. No, 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 no. Diddy, see, I'm not defending Diddy, by the way. Uh, he's a terrible guy. If he did what he did, he deserves what he did, all right? But but going back to that show, he puts you on TV. It's up to you to use that and elevate and leverage that. If you just let another person dictate your life, that's your fault. So if I'm one of them... I think there was some loose ends with that. Man, if I'm one of them, I'm running to get that cheesecake. And I want I want everybody to see me be like, yo, this guy, he wants it. Yeah, but just because you run and get cheesecake doesn't mean that you're definitely going to be successful. I just feel like this is, this is a thing with successful men. They reach to this peak. Right. They don't know how to humble themselves. Yeah. And then now you got your, now you got your, your now you got, you, now you're caught up in some crazy ass mess. Of course. Now we've all seen the Cassie tape. Crazy. He paid her off mad fast. So now million. you look, I feel like that was his first, that was like when we kind of looked in on him, I was like, yeah, he's a little guilty. You know what? I think Cassie's the that one. That was a downfall. I Ever think, since then, it was a downfall. I, I think Cassie's the one who brought everything to light. She's the one. I'm not condoning, you know, domestic violence. I feel of like, not. I feel like at the end of the day, there's been mixed reviews about Cassie. Yeah. Um, I don't think what he did to her was ever right. I know... I have my favorite cousin, one of my favorite cousins. We've had conversations about this. And she's like, oh, she should have she should have left them. And I'm like, but, you know, like when you're dealing with an abuser, right. they tap into your mental state, yeah. you know? So we don't know how long it was going on. At the end of the day, Diddy is not... I will say that I don't think he's like... 
a stand-up guy. Maybe there's been moments where he's probably been a great dad, but he got Kim Porter and his other baby mother. They was pregnant at the same time. Oh, yeah, facts. So it's kind of like, you know, he has this high status and I'm pretty sure there's been many occasions where we just didn't take him accountable for these things. You, I feel like that's that's not just him. That's a lot of people that's in that industry. They get overlooked because, you know, they have fans or they have money. Yo, don't get shocked. I, I know it's funny, right? Like you see all these like... um like they make fun of this stuff in like IG and whatever, but don't be shocked if you hear shit like Jay Z, Beyonce, the card. I don't know like, if Beyonce is allowing that to happen. Why not? I'm just saying. I feel like you know Jay Z has toned it down. His image is completely different for since a he's reason. Been with Beyonce. For I, a reason. But we don't know what he did before Beyonce. But he, I don't. I think she's she would influence him to make better decisions unless out, he's doing things behind oh, her yeah? back. I I think <laughs> I I I I feel like um. People are very calculative about how they move now based on the things that are surfacing. Look at Beyonce. She don't talk. When last time you heard Beyonce actually talk? She's this queen that everybody loves so much. Talk she, on what? Like a talk show? No, like period. Like when was the last time you heard her actually talk in the in the public? I just think that she's reached a certain caliber where people, especially now that everybody has a social, everybody has an opinion, things can just get taken out of context. And I think what she's been trying to do is probably just avoid all of that so people can't misread what she's saying and just don't speak at all. Okay, so... Because these... even even her mom the other day, her, I, I forgot I forgot what it was, but her mom came in her defense when she, she changed her hair blonde. And then they were like, oh, she's trying to be like a white woman. Her mom came in her defense. And in her mo- when her mom came in her defense, she said, you know, my daughter was really upset that I even touched on this topic because I feel like I feel like Beyonce is a type where it's true what they say no response is the best response and I think that's just what she's done throughout her career and that's what's worked for her and her longevity I mean when she was on Destiny's Child I mean she used to talk a lot yeah because they were up and coming they you know things are different we didn't have social media back then she she dropped the whole album and didn't have to do any press for it that's why everybody's like oh she dropped something let's see what it's about we didn't know what it was about back in the day they would go on 106 and Park you know we had um MTV, TRL, TRL right. yeah, you yeah, know yeah. you had to promote Damn, these things because good times, man. yeah those were really good times yeah, but we know. had to promote all these things because we didn't have social media mm. now like you have a business, so you're trying to expose. Oh, yeah, my mom's stuff. No, I was playing. Go ahead. <laughs> you know, it's just it's just so much easier to get what you're doing out to people now. Right. You just gotta post it, and it it takes a it takes less effort. I just feel like the the mystique of like how she moves is just interesting to me because there's so many people. I can say one thing about Beyonce negative: the world of females is gonna get that's, at me. I feel like that's everything. But they don't everything. really know who Beyonce is, though. That's everything. People don't. People knew. People had an idea who Diddy was until now they figure out who Diddy is, and now nobody wants to even associate with Diddy. You, you say Diddy's name, they go, "Ah, oh, that he's yeah. crazy. He's this." Yeah, Jello's like, "Peace the fuck out, you real know? fast." She's so, like, "That case back in '99." She's yeah. like, mm, "I don't want see? no problems." So again, you get. It's funny, like people. I feel don't, like we need to have. We need to have. I'm not just talking about Diddy, but these are real life issues. You know, we are all the same. We all have, you know, the blood is the same. We do, you know, we shit the same. Like, we are all human beings. Facts. Nobody is higher than the next person. And I think it's really important that when you are successful the same way that, or the longer that it took for you to become successful, you could lose that shit like that. Okay, true. And look, I think look, I think everybody needs to know that's that. That's true. Look at Kanye. Kanye was a man. He, not, he, 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 he was the man a culture. No he was a culture. He's not the man no more? When the last time you heard about Kanye? Uh, then again, that's like, I think that's what I'm saying. Everything's a joke now. That's like Trump. Every time we come on the TV, like, I didn't even watch the debate. But, but I kind of got the gist of the debate. Like, I don't even have to watch it. And oh, yeah. I know what's going on. Well, let me ask you a question since you brought up Trump, no, no, right? No, 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 don't I, ask me how I'm going I, I got to ask, right? So let me, I'm going to say a few names. But I'm going to start with Trump. Like, when you, when you hear this name, tell me what comes to your mind, right? Let's start with Trump. What comes to a your joke, mind with Trump? A clown. Okay. Why is that? At this point, I feel like the things that he says, it has to be like a publicity stunt. It has to be. What he say? Like from drinking Clorox. Okay. From what is it? Doesn't the other sound day. Too good. <laughs> the other day he's talking about eating cats and dogs. I'm Some countries. Like, I'm just like, it's a joke. Like how 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 do we make this person? I've, I've, wasn't he like a TV personality or like a businessman? Like how like how has he? 
been guilty of charges and he's still running for president. Wait a but minute. But we go back to Diddy now. He got a thousand baby oils and we want to lock him up. He can't even get bail. This is what I'm saying. Like all this stuff, is it just entertainment is what I'm trying to get to, right? So Trump, people have their view on Trump. I'm not, I'm I'm neither nor. I don't give a damn about politics. But when I watched the debate and I watched it, I was entertained. And I, in, in the back of my mind, I'm like, yo, is this just for entertainment? Because... If- Every time Trump came on the TV, I felt like it was a new episode of like a show. I didn't feel like it was real life. Like I remember watching the stuff. Um, what was it? January 6th, they said. Oh, what was that? You mean when they, they went up to the, the Supreme Court or whatever? You know, I try, I try not to watch oh, TV me, so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Current okay. Events. okay. I, I was watching it because it was like on every channel. And I was just like, this can't be real. Like right. this is this is like some shit out of a movie. No, it, I'm telling you, it's it's all scripted. I, but, but the thing about it, though, I will say about Trump, I feel like he's entitled. You don't think he's entitled? Mm. What do you mean? Why? He's been guilty of all these charges, and we have someone that's like Diddy. Diddy didn't cause all this drama. We I, honestly, I, I, I don't know what the I charges feel, are. I, I feel like everything's selective. There's a lot of people in the, in, in, in politics yeah. that do like, crazier if, things than what Diddy and, and if Trump Barack have did done. The things that Trump did. Well, he would have been gone a long time ago. If Barack did the things that Trump did, he would have gotten the pass. Who Barack? Yeah. You think so? Yeah. Why? Um, did we give a pass to Bill Clinton? No. We didn't give a pass to Bill Clinton. No, we didn't. Of course we did. Well, technically, wasn't he impeached? Of course we did. Yes, he was. And of course, we, to this day, you, you ask any black man, oh, who's the best president? Oh, we want Bill back. No, Why? Because he had a side piece? Because, well, no, because Bill was like, hey, he was... Because he, he had a side piece. No, he Bill was, piece. he had, he had flavor to him. He was no, like, he was like us. men stick together with the shenanigans. So, because he had a side nah, piece. No, he wasn't about that. I, like, I was too young. I was way young, but Bill Clinton So that did that, that draws too. a really good point then. So basically, what is it going to be if we have our new female vice, I mean, female president. Well, let me ask you a question about that. Does that mean that she's going to well, get no passes? Well, well, let me ask you a question. What's your thoughts about Kamala Harris? At this point, I feel like I remember I did, I did vote for Obama, but um, I just feel like it was, it was such a, it was like a, I felt like I was a part of history. Okay. You know, just being able to witness that. I just felt like the country at the time was like so together. I feel like, I feel like I'm all about like world peace. Like, I love that. Okay. I just think that I want to be a part of history again. And maybe that's not good enough for some people. I think, you know, nobody's really impressed with Biden. I think at this point, it's kind of like who is the worst or the less evil. You just got to pick the better option. No, it's true. Look, but I don't like how Trump, I feel like he's, he divides people. And I, I just think that it just spews a lot of hate. And I don't, I don't like that. No, nah, I, I don't, I, I, it's just not a comforting feeling. I feel like, I honestly feel like his morals kind of brings us backwards mm. from like the things that we've progressed. It took so many years to progress. Right. I feel like he's made us go backwards. My, my only fear mm-hmm. about Kamala Harris is, you know, when they ask her a question, she she plays a political role. She doesn't answer the question. And and does Trump? Trump, at least he was president before. So you yeah, kinda, but that's you kinda, a part of his kinda, characteristics. He's a, he's a he's businessman. Well, you, don't, just, you don't think that's where he probably gained that knowledge yeah, but, or that experience from? Yeah, but what from? I'm saying is he, he, he was president before, though. So you kind of know what to expect. If you ask, him, if you ask uh, Kamala, like, Hey, what's your policy on such and such? Uh, she dances, bro. Why don't you just be direct? Like, why? I mean, realistic. I I ain't even gonna lie. I feel like she's been vice president, and I didn't hear nothing about we her. Hear, we hear, we hear, I, I yeah. was like, damn, who's this girl? We, we like, she, hear nothing. She, I didn't hear nothing about and her. Now all of a sudden, she's the yeah. one that y'all want to vote for. Yeah. I'm not saying don't vote for her. I'm not saying I, that. I, I, right it's, now, it's a joke. I can run for president. <laughs> yeah, I'll probably, you know, you probably get a, one or two votes. But I'm just saying, like, honestly, like just, just one or two. Yeah, damn. at least one. At least damn. one. A family vote. You know what I mean? <laughs> but um, <laughs> but my thing is this: don't. I, I'm 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 encouraging folks to not just vote for somebody because of their female or they just want history. That 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 would drive us so that's backwards. Wrong of, that's wrong of me? I think so. 
I feel I, I feel like I feel it's just so crazy because I, I I can't understand. Remember when Hillary ran? Yeah. And I think it was like this big talk about, you know, America's not ready for a female president. Mm. And I think it might like I know I've been hearing people saying that Trump is going to win again. But I feel like it's like, are females really that bad? Like we can't have a female in power. Yeah, you got the, the, the queen over there in, you know, in Europe, right? She was running things. But did she die? She died. She was, yeah, but she was, but was running she things. Uh, you know, it's, I don't think it's, so. That's it's like royalty. Within the family. Right, 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 right. Royalty is different, you know. I just, but, I just but women like are capable. We, we need variety. We need variety. We need variety. And Trump is not. Trump is not doing that. Mm. I don't know. I'm still. And I don't. I'm, t- I'm tired. Of, I'm, I'm, I'm just tired of his antics. Like I don't want to hear about people eating cats and dogs. I don't want to hear about. But, that, but see, the, to me, the debate is like it's just a TV show to get people entertained. To you know what I mean, like. I, I encourage everybody to just put take the names out and just look at what their policy is. Just yeah. side by side. Is is has this always been a joke? Cause you know, like I said, I'm I'm I not, think so. I mean I'm a citizen now, but like oh, I wasn't I wasn't born here. So I feel like when I came here, I think um was it George Bush? I can't think that far back. Mm. But I think the first George Bush might have been president, or yeah, I yeah, think yeah. maybe it was Clinton or something like that. Mm. But I'm trying to figure out has has presidential elections always been such a joke? Because that shit is a joke now. I honestly believe it's just a TV show. Whoever gets elected, the people who are pulling the strings and directing whatever, that's all the house. That's all the, the powers that be. I think it's, it's... That's what I believe. I think the narrative also now, I feel like because there's so much gossip, I feel like... Even kids are getting involved. Like, I think I think my daughter asked me something about, like, the dogs and cats situation. I'm like, girl, I don't even know how to explain this to you because... At least she's watching. At least she's watching. I mean, yeah, but is that what we really want to teach our kids? Like, like that this is a joke? But I, look... I, or, like, when he was president, I feel like, you know, little black boys and maybe black girls, they, they were scared because he was dividing the nation, you the, know? The thing, the thing that I don't think people pay attention to is... You know, as a country, mm-hmm. we're in serious debt. Right? Yes. Trillions. I know, because inflation is high as hell. Yeah, it just, it, it's high, right? And we're still giving money to different countries. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, our people are suffering mm-hmm. here. Meanwhile, you go to California, you go to Seattle, you see all these homeless people on the, on the freaking ground. Why isn't that none of these presidents or none of these like representatives? It's always, it's always been like that, though. Yeah, but why? See, it's always been like that, but why? You giving money to different countries, but you can't. Harry for president, y'all. Damn, man. Harry I'm, I'm for president. I'm just saying, like, Make if Africa I was president, proud. you know Africa what I mean? Proud. I'm gonna take care of one nation. Yeah. That was playing. Under God. <laughs> <laughs> but serious, right? Like, what are we doing? I, I feel. Think, like- I think that's everybody's concept. Even it's so crazy. Even with, even with these migrants. No offense, but you know, I remember listening to you know the migrants getting first preference with with public city schools yeah it's kind of like damn well, what happened to the ones that's already here right I mean this is why I don't watch news honestly I'm it's, telling it's, you it's, 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 the, it's, it's, it's just for entertainment yeah at you know this point saying? it has to be let me ask you a question first thing that comes to your mind when you, when you hear his name R. Kelly no, now that Diddy's in jail, R. Kelly, you know R. Kelly what, what comes to mind with R. Kelly <sighs> is he still a thing no what R. Kelly did was crazy like yeah but what, what comes to mind when you hear his name disgusting Okay, why? Because uh, he's disgusting. At what point do you forgive? R. Kelly's unforgivable. Or can you forgive people is what I'm asking. He devastated so many lives. Mm, okay. Like... Uh, this is true. This is true. I, I agree. I think, I, you know why I think I had enough? Mm. Remember when they did that, that, what it was, the Lifetime documentary? I was watching that. I was glued to that. That was was good. My my, my question is, how fast did they put that together? Like, as soon as. It was locked up on Monday by Tuesday. Yeah, they had a a documentary. It was fast. Yo, I just saw a Diddy documentary like two days ago. I'm like, how? Is is that the TMZ one? I don't know. No, I think think it was on Hulu or something. Shout out to Mm, Hulu. Okay. Go ahead. I think the R. Kelly situation became unforgivable when I saw that one of the girls. I put I put my context clues together. Mm-hmm. He made one of the girls eat her own shit. Jesus, did you did you read that? I don't no, I don't know who are. You didn't you didn't get that piece. I, I think that was it for me. That's wild. That was it for me. Like you want that much control over someone that, like he was already doing crazy stuff. Yeah, but like I can't imagine. 
But why? Mm, sh- I can't imagine that. <laughs> but why do you That's think inhumane? But why do you think these guys, like all these, pro- why do they do this stuff, yo? Because they were getting away with it for so long, and everybody turns a blind eye. So this is why I'm telling folks, like, stop idolizing all these people. Beyonce, again, I, I appreciate their hard work, and, mm-hmm. and and and. I don't know. Do you think that creative people are just weird? Or just sick? For you to be creative, you have to have gone through something. Or your mind is wired different. You know what I mean? Like, you have to. Why? Like, because your mind is not like the average. Like, the average person is just a person that just wants to be led. Creativity, people who are creative are people who are always thinking of the next thing. They want to drive the culture, move move the, the, the narrative, move no, what's, what's being like, normal to I something feel like else. sex has played an important part in that. But why? What do you mean? Well, what is Diddy, you know, what do he got locked up for? It's like, you know, they say Diddy got the best parties. So what's happening in these parties? Like, nah, there's, more, there's more things that they, so again, so. Like, how, how does that, how does that boost your creativity? No, like, no, orgies? no, no. So you asked the question, like, what really got going on with Diddy? There was, there's tra- sex trafficking. There's rape. There's. Uh, I got a question, though. How do you know that it's sex trafficking? I feel like. I feel like uh, no excuses. Man, we're going to get canceled. Go ahead. <laughs> no, I'm just asking a question. I feel like we're not taking accountability for these young women. Don't you feel like, let's say Diddy walked in the room right now and there's 10 girls. You know, everybody knows who Diddy is. You don't think any girl is like being drawn to that, that they want to go because they're trying to catch their next break. Like what is, I feel like it's a very thin line between Oh, he made them do this, but did they? Did he really make them do it, or did they? Did they want to do it, and now you know mm, they feel it, ashamed? There's probably a, there's probably like a thin line between wanting and being forced to. I, I hear I hear some stories too, right? Like they use different figureheads, like a Beyonce. I'm not saying this is true. I'm not saying none of this is true, but they use a figurehead like a Beyonce or or a Kim Kardashian, and she's in the house. During these parties, I'm again. This is all allegation stuff. And oh, if, you know more than I do because I'm clueless. Oh yeah, and if I'm a new person who wants to be a somebody, mm-hmm. that's what I'm saying. I'm gonna see Beyonce, be like, "Yo, this is how it is. This is real." Yeah. And then I'm gonna like, "Oh, I, all I do is this," and then they'll do these things. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you, man. I just find it odd too, right? Diddy was known for throwing these extravagant they parties. They always said Diddy had the best parties. Now we now we know why. But now you got people like, again, I'm just throwing these names out there because I see what I see. You got people like Michael Rubin throwing these parties now. All these celebs coming together. I just feel like somebody just picked up the reins and now they're just, something's going on in these parties that we're not being told what's really going on in my opinion. Do you, do you, <laughs> Yeah, I'm a conspiracy theorist. I know. I got so do you do you feel like I watch a lot of A and E? Because I was seeing they were like, "Oh, Diddy didn't feel like sacrificing any one of his kids, so that's why he's in hot water." You believe in that? Like he's been sacrificing. I think you know when Kim Porter died, they said he sacrificed her for like you know his... craziness. You think that's a real thing? I don't think so. That's I don't think so. I don't know. That's that's wild. Yeah. I mean, then again, who knows? Because when you read the stories about how they their relationship was mm-hmm. and, and who Kim Part Kim Porter was connected to mm-hmm. and yeah it's it's funny her, her death was kind of weird though like she died of pneumonia yeah people died of pneumonia but still yeah in, in 2024 yes eh. oh yeah I'm I'm confused they couldn't catch that quicker and gave her meds ah uh, I think that's that's a little weird it is weird. That's but a little weird. At the end of the day, you have like, access to all this money. You have access to, I'm pretty sure, all these. And that's a little weird. She couldn't get over that little pneumonia. Money don't mean nothing, man, when it comes to what's yeah, going on inside. Yeah, but I feel like she could have gotten treatment for it. There's people... Uh, Steve Jobs died of cancer, did he not? Was it cancer? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was one of those cancers. Mm. And he has, what, all the money in the world. True. I don't know. I, I just be thinking something's up. No, nah, I, I believe... Things are trending, you know. Oh, how about this? Since uh, people don't get forgiven. So you don't, you can never forgive R. Kelly, right? Mm-mm. No matter how much time these people do, we can't forgive these people, right? I didn't like his music that much anyway. Sorry. Yeah, you're lying. You can't. What? What's, what song was like, oh my God? I ain't gonna lie. You know, back when I was like in junior high school, he was popping. You know, I he was coming out with nothing. Fiesta, uh, Fiesta. That was good. But you know, I feel like it's kind of like with the times, you know, music is different now. <laughs> I feel like those certain songs, I think I, I understand. You listen to those songs differently now, though. 
I understand where our parents was coming from. I remember like being younger and our parents liked their era of music. But you have to realize we like our era of music because it reminds us of our childhood. Facts, yeah. And I realized that's why I miss it because that was an era in my life. Yeah. Oh, I remember, you know, that's why, school. That's why Usher is so relevant now because right. he's oh, the went only to his one concert, left. by the way, and he was uh, amazing. Oh, yeah, you went to the concert? I sure did. Is it worth it? It was. I had a good time. Okay. At the night that I went, though, he bought out way too much people, and I was like, I ain't paid to see all these people. So I think it kind of. That's a good thing. Eh, I think it kind of took back from what he normally mm-hmm. performs. So I was just a little disappointed with that. Like, I didn't even get to see the stripper girls. Like, I was looking forward to the stripper girls. What, I didn't get to see the stripper girls. What's your favorite um, Usher song? I don't have a favorite. He, well, which one did he perform that was like, oh my God, that, he's performing it? <sighs> that night was just such a blur. It was such a good time. Um, the only song that I really wanted to hear that I did not hear that night is off of his new album, Ruin. Okay. But I've had friends say that he performed it on like different shows because obviously, you know, we're in New York. He performed four times at the Barclays. Oh, true. Yeah. I just, I just, his catalog is amazing. Okay. It's. So I know you say you're not an R. Kelly fan, which mm-hmm. which I understand. Mm-hmm. Um, but if they did a versus, I know R. Kelly's catalog somewhat. And if there was anybody that was going to do a versus Wait, who? Usher and R. Kelly? against Usher, it would be R. Kelly. It would. And it'd be take away the R. Kelly, the person, and just focus on the music. Because the, they're completely what's, what's, two what, different what things. What song is R. Kelly going head to head with Usher? Please make um, it make sense. Again, uh, damn. See, you can't even bump, name it. Bump and Grind. You want to put it on the spot. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's a lot here. It's a lot here, right? I feel like, I feel like um, Bump and Grind was before my time. Bump and Grind. Um, damn, he had a lot of songs with the Isley Brothers, too. Um, Contagious. Was that his? No, that was no, that wasn't his. But he featured in it. Um, damn. I don't even hear these songs anymore, though. Because nobody's playing it. I don't think so. I feel like people no, don't, but nobody's people gonna don't care. N- nobody's gonna play R. Kelly no more. You no, play R. Kelly, people leave because you already that know. that one song? I feel like they always play at family family function. Step in the name of love. People Step still play in the that. Name of yeah. Love. yeah, okay. But I'm not here. I, uh, Step in the name of love. Yeah, because you're listening to the songs different now that you, now that you know what type of person he was. You know, and nobody's playing him. Nobody's playing him. If don't like be, Diddy got some good stuff. I still listen to Diddy. You know. Okay, so you're still listening to Diddy songs. Hell yeah, I, I love Diddy songs. So that means you're separating Diddy from the music. So why can't we do the same with R. Kelly? Because I'm I wasn't really like initially uh, like an R. Kelly fan to okay. begin with. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Don't be surprised if you hear some stuff about Usher though. Uh, who knows? Usher was 13 hanging out with Diddy. By the way. We we trying to insinuate. I'm just saying things are <laughs> a lot of people was young. Man, you know this, this industry is like high school. Why you everybody, say that? Everybody know everybody. You know they're gonna cross paths at some time. I guess. Yeah, so it's just like high school. Do you follow like uh, technology stuff? You follow like Elon Musk? Nah. You don't know about do you know who Elon Musk is? When people got that much more money than me, it makes me depressed. I don't oh even want to follow them. Oh my god. I heard I heard something happen with um what's that guy from Amazon? Who, Jeff Bezos? Yeah, I heard something happen with him. He stepped down as something. Yeah, he got so much money. He don't need to keep doing what he's doing. No, but then he stepped down as CEO or something happened with him? Or am I just making things up? I mean, Stepping down as CEO doesn't mean you're still in, you're not going to be involved in yeah, the Amazon true. enterprise. You know what? At, at this point, these people got so much money they could invest it. Let, let's feed let's feed the poor. See, that's the thing that they travel in the space for what for ten seconds. Okay, for so, what? so let for me what? ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Why? Right? Let me ask you a question because you just said feed the poor, or whatever, right? Mm-hmm. You make a lot of money. Let's say you make a hundred million. Let's say you make twenty five million dollars a year, right? Mm-hmm. Should I tell you how to spend your money? Should I tell you how to spend well, your money? Well, who are you to me? You my husband? Regular, regular, regular person? No, just a just your average. You know, let's be realistic. Nigerian like looking, a regular, looking guy. Like a regular person. How am I? How am I coming in contact with you? Well, I'm just saying. Like you just said, you should. You just said Jeff. This Bezos. is what I'm saying. People get to high places and they forget who they are. No, he, how you know? That's how. Because I'm, that's, that's what he did. That's, that's who he is. He, he don't gotta do none of that. You know, it's different when you don't have it and then you got it. And then you've had it for a long so time. Then and then you have that much of it. So you can't win in society. Here's why. Here's what I'm saying. Just hear me out. If I have a vision and a dream and nobody's supporting it, but now I'm successful, who the hell you tell me how to spend my money? I'm not telling you to, but you can't give back? If I want to. That's what I'm saying. It's a character flaw. No. 
If you're making all this money, you're not going to give back? Okay, let me ask you a question then. I'm going to ask you a serious question. I mean, Oprah got a lot of money. She done gave back Uh, to to, to school. Okay, let me ask you a question. Do you always tip? Yes, I have to. Oh, wait. No, no, you don't have to. It's I called have tip. To. It's called tip. You don't have to. You know, to. unless the service is bad and is that, that's no, different. No, 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 no. Do you always tip? Always. Do you always feel good about tipping? What do you mean feel good about it? So when your bill is like $200, $300 and your tip is now $60, you, you feel good about tipping that $60? Oh, well, I hope they deserved it. No, but do you feel good that you're... You have you to. Make, no, you don't have, you have to. to. You when you ha- think about the breakdown, these people are not even making minimum wage. So technically, their tips is really making, you know... Their income. Yeah, because but, I remember back in the day, Applebee's wasn't they getting like five dollars an hour, but that was because they were they were hey, I incorporating. At, I worked at Applebee's by the way. For real? Yeah, I was a host. How much you was making? Man, I what can't your tips was looking like? <laughs> Don't disclose my bread. <laughs> you know what I mean? I had that tip share, you know what I mean? <laughs> That's what happens when you're making too much money. They don't want to tell you. But what I'm saying is you just said Jeff Bezos should be given back. Well, if you if you're the type of person that, that's tired of tipping, I mean you're not. But a person like myself, it's like, yo, everywhere I go, everybody's asking for a tip nowadays. I literally went to a carnival and I bought tickets to a Ferris wheel. Mm-hmm. And the person said, uh, do you want a tip? I'm like, tip, tip who? Mm-hmm. You? You just gave me a ticket. Mm-hmm. And then when I said no, the person rolled their eyes at me. For real? Yeah. Damn, it sounds like it sounds like we we them foreign countries. Like we begging for money now. That's because inflation is high. I feel like you know, I mm. thought I thought about it the other day. I had a conversation with my friend, right? And I feel like low key, um, depression, mental health issues, okay, goes hand in hand with money. Why is that? Things are so expensive now. I I I mean, you know, I'm a single mom of one. Mm, okay. I, I, I think I would jump off the ledge if I had like three kids. I don't even know how single moms do it with three kids. Um, no, and I, I, and I feel like that's why it's becoming like a new thing with like having all these options of like tipping, you know, these places we typically never used to tip before. Mm. Because I think it's, ex- it's excessive though. It is very excessive because everything's so goddamn high already. Yeah, like it is excessive, but it was never like that before because things wasn't that expensive. But I should not feel guilty. Because I I chose not to tip a vo- tipping is a voluntary. You, you, feel, act. you feel guilty. You feel guilty because they roll they roll their eyes. At really, you. Yo, she rolled her <laughs> eyes slow <laughs> as hell. She got seven kids to feed. And I'm, she's sad. Meanwhile, she's like, Damn. How, how, how do I know that? How do I know she's not driving the Benz or something? I don't know. She'll be working at the carnival. Exactly. Look, work harder then. Um, maybe don't she rely, should just, uh, maybe re- she got to get a BBL not, so she could go to OnlyFans uh, and, you know? I, look, don't rely on my tip for you to be successful or, or be able to do what, do what every, everybody's doing, working their butts off. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I be is that wrong? Be, is that wrong? Uh, no, I be wanting to tip the homeless people, but these ones in the city, I'm not going to lie. There's been a couple of times I see some real questionable homeless people. That's what this guy and um 42nd Street okay. shoes off, feet dirty as hell. He laying down charging his his AirPods and his iPhone. Oh god. I'm just like, bro, are you homeless or are you just nah, going you know, through you, something right now? You know what they do? So homeless people, like they they Harry about to school us, y'all. No, I mean I, I used to volunteer at uh, you know, Don't look community. at you. Of course, when I give it back to my people. So I used to um hear their stories. Mm-hmm. So these people like They'll live in like let's say Jersey. Mm-hmm. They'll live in they'll live in a regular home, mm-hmm. and they'll drive out here. And this is what they do for a living. They literally are begging. They're, they're professional beggars. They'll they'll go to their location, mm-hmm. beg for their you know beg for money, do they what they got to do, and then they'll take their butts home and go back. Not all of them though. I'm not mm-hmm. saying everybody does this, mm-hmm. but some but some of these homeless people. They, that's what they do. Yeah, well, that's that's what discourages me because I'm like, I don't really know if you need it. Well, think about this. If they're doing it as their profession, they definitely do need it. So why not give it to them? Why are you so more inclined to give somebody a tip working at a, a restaurant or whatever, but not a homeless person asking for a dollar? I've been seeing these people selling the fruits with their babies. Yeah. They're doing too much. But I won't buy their I won't buy their product. I would just give them money because they clearly need it. Mm. Even though I feel like it's somewhat honorable because they're trying to sell a product, but mm-hmm. at this point, I think I would just, I would just give it to them. I think you just gotta pick and choose, but you can't compare like a Jeff Bezos to like a homeless person. Like you're going up to space for 15 seconds for what? Spend all, all these millions of dollars for what? To have an experience that you, like you're not like you could live without. Nah, I, I, I 
private business space and I'm perfectly fine. I'm just saying, like, I don't think it's 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 reasonable to be like, hey, you make so much money, you should be. No, I shouldn't be nothing. If he chooses to do that, then that's yeah, who but don't he be is. Cheap. What do you mean? You can give back, and and they're like tax write offs. You should want to give. I back. mean, I mean, for he all making we, so much I, goddamn money, no, he can't facts. even he can't even spend in one lifetime. Let's be realistic. Facts, yeah. You making so much money, you can't money. spend in one lifetime. Yeah, I'm just I'm, he about to marry that girl. She gonna take half of what he got. Like, come on, you want to spread it to sm- one person? Spread it to people that really need it. I mean, I, again, I'm just saying, if he wants to do that stuff, sure, it's he should it's do that commendable. Stuff. He should. But he shouldn't. He, he should do whatever he wants. He should do whatever he wants. He made the money. He sacrificed. But that's because Harry make too much, y'all. Nah, chill. That's what? why. What? what that's why about? he's he's about? he's starting with this. It's all right. I'm, it's no, all right. No, it's I, all right. I'm broke just like everybody else. What are you talking about? <laughs> Lies. Another level. No, I'm serious. Like I think don't don't the person. So what? If he gives check this out. If he gives money, oh, he ain't giving up. I feel like what you put out is what you get back. Okay. So I think I think when you should you should want to do that type of stuff, and maybe that's why. People are going down one by one because they're not being good people. Mm. They're not, you know, pouring the money. Like you're talking, you're talking about America. America's in debt. We're giving it to other countries. Facts, yeah. What's what's the difference if, if he's keeping all his money to himself? But you're talking about a nation that yeah, he can sell a, a gov- couple no, people with a couple of about, dollars. Yeah, but you're talking about government who we rely on for our well being versus a person who the who created something do to make our lives easier. Government? Yeah, we do. Why? Because they dictate everything. What they doing for you? Well, Besides- I, got, I got to give taxes, right? Half of my money. Exactly. Right? So but that's I, not for you. So if I'm giving half of my money mm-hmm. to the government... We hoping, don't even know what they're using it for. No, they're giving it to another country, though. That's why I'm like, what are we talking about right now? Mm. I feel you. I, I just feel like you make a certain amount or you reach a, a certain threshold. Don't be cheap. Don't be cheap. I feel like... If a person like Jeff Bezos creates something like Amazon to make our life easy, we should just be happy about that. How you spend your money? Hey, thank you for creating what you created. I still got to pay for the product. The products ain't for free. Did you use Prime? That shit, it came quick, didn't it? It came quick, but but we're consumers. This is the first time that coming quick is a good thing. Oh that went over your head, huh? I, know, yeah, I thought okay. you said this was a family, family show. show. I'm sorry. What? What I say? Damn. Go ahead. I just, I just think that you know, I'm all about world peace. World peace got to do with this. Why we can't just watch out, look out for each other? Yeah, you know, be, what? be kind to be kind to others. Anything you want to take away from this message, be kind to others. Yo, you, I, I was going to ask you about this. Yo, I have a theory about. So I, I started my vegan journey, right? Oh God. Nah, I'm just what does joking. that mean? You're eating plants. Like, no, what does no, that no. mean? I mean more cows that eat vegan. If that makes sense. So why are you still considered vegan? Is this really a thing or are you making things up? No, I'm making things up. Oh, okay. But, but I have a theory about Because vegan- I don't want to go talk to nobody and be like, yeah, he's told me he was a vegan, but he's eating, you know, certain type of cows. Yeah, certain grass-fed, only vegan. And whatever. how do you feel? You feel better about yourself? No, I feel the same. Okay. I can't tell. But look, I have a theory How's about- your pockets? Your pockets feel? No, it's very light. <laughs> um, I have a thing about vegan and the whole vegan movement. I have a theory. Conspiracy theory. Okay. I feel like it's funny that- all these vegan products, mm-hmm. they're trying to make it taste like meat and stuff. But it's like, why now? You know what I mean? Are we running out of food or are we getting so sick? No, we're just, I feel like we're just progressing. We're just coming up with new shit. I don't think so. I think they're trying to make us adopt a new way of eating food. Because they're going to say, watch, watch. My theory is this. Whatever years... I just it, feel like we're trying to be extra. No, I think... Look, my thing we're is this. To be extra. Maybe in the next 10 years or 20 years, mm-hmm. they're going to say all the food that we've been eating is, is poisonous. Our food it doesn't even pass the, the past... It doesn't pass Europe standards. Like, we cannot ship our food to Europe and they're going to accept it. So I think well, food... I'm, I'm, I, think, I think food is, is, is making us so sick mm-hmm. that they're going to be like, hey, guess what? Go to vegan... It's more healthy and then come to find out that it's really not healthy because you're using animal cells to make these products. Yeah. I mean, that I agree with. I definitely feel like the food that we're consuming is giving us a lot more diseases than there probably ever was. Um, I just feel like, I feel like as a country, as a generation, we're just trying to come up with new shit. Sometimes the shit don't even make sense, but we just try to come up with new shit yeah. to give people a variety of like being able to make their own selections. Yeah. It's, it's just like a peace of mind. Like, oh, I want to be a vegan today. Let me let me try to do it for like a week. 
No, but seriously, I think with uh, vegans, that whole movement, and again, nothing wrong with that. Not saying there's anything wrong. Do you feel wrong. better telling people you're a vegan? No, I'm not a vegan. I eat vegan animals. Do you feel better about yourself telling people that though? Yeah. Because I think, you know what? I think it's a- Because <laughs> you extra. You I, extra, I, I think, extra. I, I think it's a joke, man. <laughs> Yeah. Because only this country talks about vegan. You I'm think, saying everybody's in, is in inflation mode and you over here eating only grass-fed cows. So, you know, you real fancy. <laughs> no, but I, I feel like only this country, you have options. I'm going to be a vegan. I'm going to yeah. be a vegetarian. Yo, where I come from, whatever's available, you better enjoy. What they got available? Because I could, I could do with some right now. Oh, red stew, yes, greasy, yes, the jollof, Nigerian jollof. You know, you know what I think? I feel like I feel like, you know, people from my country. I don't know if everything's like more organic out there, but I feel like people live longer. So I think that says a lot. I'm pretty sure if we were to do like like a statistic, you know, history of people back where you're from. I'm pretty sure we're not, we don't have all these chemicals. We just got to get out of here. Now, you know what? I, I actually looked that up. Like, which country? It's a real thing, right? Yeah, it's a real it thing. has to be a real thing. Like, there's places where their normal lifestyle requires them to be active and, and mobile, mm-hmm. which is incorporated in their life. So they're, they're always working out. Mm-hmm. And the foods that they have available to them, it, yeah, it's like sustainable for them, lo- for their longevity. Mm-hmm. Versus here, where we just click buttons, watch TV, yeah. and, and order food, yeah. Uber Eats, and our yeah. bills are high, and, you know, and we're lazy. Yeah, you know? we are very lazy. Yeah, we go to the gym, but then we drink alcohol, which I'm, I'm done with alcohol, by the way. For real? Yeah, I'm done. You, what you got in that cup right oh, there? Yeah, after yeah, today, after today, after today, I'm done. After today, I'm done. You can't tell people that then. You know, we tell no, you after it. Yeah, after today, I'm done with alcohol. Okay, I agree. Like, I had that I'm done with alcohol moment mm-hmm. when you wake up, like, like why are we doing this to ourselves? Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, I agree. I, you know, it's crazy. I literally feel like, I feel it. Now that I'm getting yeah. older, like, uh-huh. I feel that shit. And I'm trying to live for a very long time. So I got it. I am cutting out. Just like you got to cut out toxic people toxic people out of your life you gotta have certain healthier lifestyles and and habits alcohol ain't it ain't it as much as i love my lychee martinis i'm like one and done now okay one and done at what age do you stop going out so late like at what age i'm already there and i ain't gonna tell you how old i am but i'm already there okay should a 30 year old person still be out in the club at past 12 o'clock you know what it is i feel like there's no age limit. It depends on yourself, right? I think that people make fun of me now because like real real talk, this is probably why I can't really be in the dating scene. But after 10, don't ask me to go nowhere because I'm not going. I'm already in bed watching Lifetime trying to sort out my life for the next day, right? I feel like there shouldn't be an age limit, but there's this misconception because I think that people look at me and they're like, Ew, like you're such a prude. Like who goes to bed at 10 o'clock? Like my friends know don't even call me because you you're not gonna get nothing out of me. It's just my preference though. It's it's a part of our peace and that's what I like. Mm. So if you're 30, who knows? Maybe, maybe you wanna get out because you're in the house and you're bored or you know, whatever's for you, but I'm perfectly fine in my house. Mm. You just can't like I'm not I could never be in a relationship now with like a party promoter. Are you kidding me? Damn. You're outside till four o'clock. I ain't got nothing for you. I'm trying to wake up in four hours from my nine to five. I ain't got nothing for you. Mm. So things like that actually do, now that you bring it up, it actually kind of coincides with what you're looking for in a relationship. Because so, if our schedules don't match, you're not going to last. So if I'm dating, let's say we're, somebody's dating you, they're professional. He, he can't be a party promoter. What, what, what about a nurse? So nurses, they work crazy hours. So what's wrong with, I can't date a nurse? Or you can't date a male nurse. You know, their hours are different. Not if he's doing a night shift. Because then he's up. Well, and by, the nurse, time, by the time I'm up, he's asleep. A lot of nurses work late. I mean, that's I the thing. I guess it's not going to go for me. Damn. That's crazy. I think that's a very important part of your lifestyle as you get older. These things matter. These things matter. Because hmm. I'm going to be mad irritable. I can't reach you during the day because you probably work in your night shift. Like, it's just, it, 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 it's not, it's not going to work for me. You don't think that's a real thing for you? No. I, this is why I need someone with a career that fits into the same time slot as when I'm up for work. Because I'm up for I'm up early. I see schedules have to align. You're yes, right. It's it tough. Does. It is tough. But if that person is dope, cool, whatever, you gotta find a way to make it work. No, I don't. Then, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna be up with you till two in the morning and my ass gotta wake up in four hours. I'm not doing that for you. 
How many Damn, times man. would I be able to do that for you? But that's but you gonna mess up my sleep schedule because mm-mm. yeah. But remember what this thing called love means? Like love means sacrifice. Love means you yeah, gotta that's so much figure of a it sacrifice. out. I like I like to sleep. Damn, call me boring. I'm probably I probably am boring. Yeah, you are boring. It's okay though. I like it. It's peaceful over here. Lifetime Matlock type of yes, girl. I love it. Yeah. Them real stories be hitting. I'm telling you. What are you talking about in those? Hmm, the Lifetime movies that yeah. are real shit. Yeah, that should be hitting. Damn. Like you know, I'll be, I'll be learning, you know, some tips. You know, if I ever get kidnapped, I know a little couple of tricks here and there well, you know, to like get me out of my situation. Like dead and, and run away. Actually, you, know, you know, there's a new one coming up. It's like he slid into her DMs. That's a real, that's a real shit. Slid into her DMs. Yeah, that's the title of it. I don't think it came out yet. I haven't watched it yet, but they said it was based on a true story. See how times are, are evolving? Like, I need to know if he slid into her DMs and he kidnapped her. I need to know what to do. Then again, I don't answer nobody. Man, if I'm in that situation, I'm going to ask God, like, how did I get myself in this situation? I got a yo? question. How do you feel about girls answering DMs? How do I feel about it? Yeah. Like, like in what context? Go ahead. Do you try to shoot your shot? Like girls in the DMs? Do I? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, what are you talking about? Me? Yeah. No. I feel like it's just so backwards. Like, mm, that's not really a part of the court process. I mean, if, if I'm out there like that, like the single person out there, my I would rather meet somebody in person because I can yeah. tell a story. I can tell a story about that. Yeah. Hey, how'd you guys meet? Uh, she fell, I, you know, I caught her and... Uh, no, but that, that was that became a thing. How did you guys meet? Oh, I slid in her DMs. You never seen that thing when they like fake get married and they were like, oh, he slid in my DMs. See, if I did that and I met and I met somebody and we, mm-hmm. we hit it off and we we're together, I'd just be like, uh, we met at this, 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 you know, our first date. Oh, so you'd lie. Of course. <laughs> Why? You don't want to... Keep the story going. You don't want to tell your parents, hey, you know, I said in her DM, she answered me. Nah, it's not good. It don't work. I mean... They're like, hey, I we mean, take it back. Take parents, it back. I mean, parents don't care where you meet them. They just want to make sure that you meet somebody. No, do you feel like if a girl answered the DMs, she's like, you look at her a little bit, like on a nah, lower standard? Nah, not at all. No? So what's it's acceptable. The, what's, the, what's the difference between a DM and like... <sighs> I'm so bougie. I'm not answering DMs. So don't even inbox me. But I'm telling you, this is 2024. Like, times have changed. You got to adapt. We got to adapt. AI is taking over. We got to adapt. It, things are getting easier for you. I'm trying to get an arranged marriage. See, I when, feel, when, is, when is Love is Blind coming back on? I need to be on that casting call. Can somebody put in a good word for me, please? Oh, my goodness. I feel like a like, lot... I want to see this girl on TV. I feel like a lot of times... We're, we're, we're pushing away things that are making it easier for us. Why are we pushing the, Why are we neglecting the support? It's So DMs are making it easier for us to be people? DMs, apps, DMs are only all giving, these things is making DMs it easier for you. DMs are only giving men that would never approach you in the street the, the confidence. I'm serious. If you are really that kind of guy and you're suave, you should approach me in person. Don't hit me up in the DMs. Hmm. But you write them off right away if they're approaching in person because they might say one wrong thing. No, if he's thing. really suave. You got to be suave. You got to be confident. So you got to look the if part. If a 5'3 guy comes into you all suave look, with shades. Look, I could be, I could be driving in five, my car three. and they look, pull wait, up no, next no, to me no, and they no, try no, to talk no, to no. me. Uh, hear me out. 5'3. I kind of missed that high, back in the day. Because high is all this, you know, it's a talk now. Guy who's 5'3 has all the money, he's suave, whatever. You going to take him serious? Why? I won't take him serious because he's 5'3? I don't really understand. Like, you watch Pop the Balloon. Have you watched Pop the Balloon? I mean, how can I not? It's everywhere. I don't know. These these people are picky. It's fake. Sh- uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna talk negative. No, these I don't believe are I don't picky. believe I don't believe it's real. I don't. They be like, oh, you know, your shoes is dirty. Oh, nobody wears that design no, no more. I'm like, damn, like nah, you got I mean, options like that? You can just saying. write somebody off. But that's what I'm saying. Is it real? Oh, you you uh you don't, your cologne is off. I don't like it. What? Or maybe I could go and pop the balloon. Can I can I go and pop the balloon? Can we do like a series here? <laughs> Yeah, you don't bring don't bring no corny ones because you know I'll let them know. So what's the, again? So for the audience, right? Because uh, approaching a little time here, what is something that if a guy was to approach you, you'd be like, "Yo, that's what I like." Make it easy for them. If a guy approached me, yeah. Um, I had a guy approach me one time. Um, recently he, he wasn't my type but you know it's a thought that counts I was on my way to work and I thought it was a really nice gesture that he I'm not I'm I'm not I don't want to be cussed out especially not like early in the morning when I'm on my way to work mm-hmm. but it's just weird because I feel like men have all the confidence 
which is weird to me because I'm like, you just woke up. You want to talk to somebody that early in the morning. But anyway, I was on my way to work and this guy, I think he waved. And I was like, hey, you know, I was just being nice. And yeah. then he parked his car. He got out of his car. He offered to buy me breakfast. Wow. And I, I thought that was so gentleman like him. I mean, I declined. Damn. But it was a gesture. I was like, this is nice. This is very different. Like, how are you pulling over and, what, and parking your car to buy somebody nah, breakfast? I got, I got places to go. But why why, why would you <laughs> deny You just him? rather go on the DMs for free. <laughs> free not and not. No, I, love a, I love somebody that's thoughtful. Yeah, but why wouldn't you give him the time of day? Because he wasn't my type. Oh, see what I'm time. saying? If he was suave, I'd be why, like, wait, sure. Wait, 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 wait. How do you know he's not your type? He looked, he looked like he was 15 years older than me. It just wasn't given. How do you know if you don't... I'm sure he was a beautiful person on the inside. It just wasn't for me. Hmm. But I, I appreciated it. It was, okay. it was good. It was I've, good. I, I know a girl would make it easy for a guy if she likes to do. I know that. But, yeah. But it, it comes to a time where it's like, you don't know... If you get to, if you get to a certain point where you're getting frustrated... You don't really know what you want. So you actually have to put yourself in a position to see what else is out there that's against what you want. So you can so you can get this happiness. See, this is why I think talk about. this is why this is why dating doesn't work for me because I the same way men want the female that's unobtainable, I want the guy that's unobtainable too. I don't want the guy that's knocking down everything because you know, well, I, then, don't, I don't want that. But, but then you'll say you don't want the guy who doesn't get girls, period. Just because just because you can get them don't mean that you got to knock them down. Look, man, I'm, I'll make it easy for you. A guy, all he cares about is two things. Appreciation and respect, okay? So if he's going out of his way to want to buy you breakfast, understand so I should, where you so, what, from. so you think I should have took the breakfast and been like, no, hey, just thank like, hey, you. No. I appreciate this, but I got to go. Peace out. <laughs> that would have been worse. I would say I would if I'm not saying if I was you what I would do in that situation, but I would be like, hey, look, um, I don't really do that, but here's my do, information. Do guys really believe it when they say when when a girl be, when a girl tells them I don't typically do this? Wait, wait, say that again. <laughs> wait, what? Do guys really believe it when a girl says I don't typically do this, but they do it? You don't believe that shit. I mean, it, it depends. We just on, say it to make you feel good, but you well, don't. You don't well, believe if you, it. If you're saying that to make me feel good, I appreciate that, man. Oh, you appreciate the lies. All yeah, right. it's it's a it's a white lie. Yeah, okay. Actually, we, we should have a conversation about why is it a white lie versus like a black lie. Is there a black lie? Why is black so negative and white so innocent? <sighs> I mean, I didn't make it up, so I don't know. I feel like a really bad lie would be to be would be to lie about your kids. What do you mean? Like, if you got kids, you'd be like, nah, I got no kids. That'd be crazy. That's, that's, crazy. that's not a white lie. That's crazy. Yeah. That's even, that's that's like, what? Why do you, you? But wait, do you get a pass if like, let's say you have five kids, right? Oh, that's a lot. It is. Especially during these times. Right. But do you think that if you were to meet a girl and she kind of gives you the vibe that she doesn't really want to date a guy with kids and then you guys hit it off and then the second day, you're like, you know what? I'm going to tell her the truth. Mm. Is that a white lie or a black lie? Or do you feel like that's like non-negotiable, like... Oh, you mean, or or, or oh, you could even do vice versa if oh, she lied to you, mm. and then she's like, you know, I didn't want to scare you off, and I, I, you know, I was feeling the vibe, and now you know I like you, but I really do have five kids. Would you be like, peace the fuck out, or like, how do you how, how do you handle that? It depends on how she uh, came back to tell the truth. You lying? You'd have been like, girl, it was nice to meet you. No, nah, I mean, if she, like if five she, kids, Harry, five. It depends on how she told me. If she texted me, say, hey, by the way. I know I didn't say this in the beginning, but I have five kids. Oh, I'm ghost. That's what she got to tell you in person. Ghost. What is she like, if she know? calls me and says, hey, by the way, we hit it off and I need to just let you know that I actually have kids and actually five. I go, wow. It was nice to meet you. I don't even say anything. No, I just say, I'll just say, Harry wow, does, wow. Harry don't be keeping it real. Don't uh, that be keeping is keeping it real. real. Wow. Wow. Five. If he told me he got two no, if you're talking, uh, I don't even know. Two is a bit much. Three for three? Three kids and three baby mothers? Um, It was nice to meet you. Okay, three kids, one baby mother. Were you married? Huh? Were you married? If he was married? Mm-hmm. No, I don't, you no. know what it is? I don't feel like I'm at that age yet. I don't feel like I'm at that age where... You, I don't feel like I'm at that age. I mean, I feel like maybe if I was like in my 40s or mid-40s... Wait, what are, you, what, what are, we, what are we talking about? What I age? feel like... What are you talking about? I feel like 
as you get older, because now, now you're getting older, right? When you were in your 20s, you probably wasn't meeting a lot of women with kids. Now that you're a little bit older, they all you got are, kids. yeah, they all got kids, yeah. right? I don't know if I'm meeting somebody with, I don't know if I'm meeting guys with three kids. Well, you, three baby you, no, no, you're gonna I meet, mean, three baby no, no, brothers. You're going to meet guys with kids. You just don't want to take them serious. It's not that because I have a kid and I know it's like a double standard or whatever, but... Um, so you're saying if you have... You got, no, no, three no, no, kids no, no, and three no, baby no, no, mothers? No, no. So that has to be a character So you're flaw. saying if you have one kid, the guy, if he has one kid, it's okay. Right? Because you have one. No, I'm not saying it because of, of what I have. I just feel like... Let's say you have three kids and you were married. Then that's a little bit different, you know, Why? because you were married. What does that mean? You shared your life with somebody for a certain amount of time. What if I'm not married, but we lived together for like for years? What's the difference? I feel like that's that's a red flag because why didn't you marry her? She had three of your kids. There's reasons for everything. I don't know. That would kind of like, that'd be like a red flag because it's like, would you think that I'm going to have your kids and just settle to be yeah, but your like, baby mother? Yeah, but like, hold on. You know, in this country... Mm-hmm. Once a man signs a document that okay. says he's married. Oh, God. You're one of those? No, I'm just saying. I'm not saying don't okay, get married. Jeff, wait, wait, wait. Jeff Bezos with wait, all that on. money. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This country does not make it easy for the man. This is fact. Does not make it easy for the man. Once he signs a document saying that they're married and then a, a divorce happens. Like the lady. Look, look at uh, uh, Iman Shumper and uh, what's her name? What's her name? Tiana Taylor. Tiana Taylor. What happened about that? She got the house, the kids, everything. My yeah. man barely got a shirt on. What do you mean? Uh, so if a guy doesn't want to get married, but he wants to stay with a baby mom, I, I can true. understand why. I'm not saying I, it's right. I, I feel like I don't. I feel like there's not enough representation in real people where the roles are vice versa. But I know a couple of females that are doing better than men, and they actually have to pay them alimony. I just feel like we don't the hear about it. rare cases. That's like rare diseases. You never see that I don't happening. Think it's, I don't think it's rare. Rare cases. There's a lot of broke niggas out there. It's a lot of, bro- it's a lot of broke men. No, there is a lot of broke men. Yeah. That's why they can't take you out on dates and stuff. All right, they want to Netflix so, right, so and chill all the goddamn time. Give us one thing before we wrap this up. Give us one thing that all men should know about, about dating Amanda. Me? Yeah, because you're the subject. Oh my God. What's one thing that... Because we... Look, our goal... The next time we see you, <laughs> I was kidding. It's for you to tell us, yo, Harry. <laughs> guess what? I found Mr. Right. So, what's one thing that Mr. I'm right married. should know um, about Amanda that's gonna tickle your twine? One thing I feel like <laughs> tickle your I'm, twine. I'm, you making shit up now? <laughs> um, I feel like I will be very honest. Um, just one thing before we wrap it up. One thing. I'm not always easy to deal with, not in a bad way. But I think in the end, because of like my heart and I don't want to sound mad cliche, but Mm -hmm. I feel like I love really hard. And when Mm -hmm. I'm there for you, I'm going to be there for you and we're going to figure shit out Mm because I don't want nobody to give up on me and I won't give up on you. I can be a little hard to deal with sometimes, but it's worth it in the end. It's worth it. Okay. So what's one thing that the guy should know? That I'm hard to deal with, but it's worth it. That you're hard to deal with. Hey, Not guys. all the time. All right. Hey, guys. I hope you enjoyed this time. Hey, will Amanda <laughs> oh find God, a I'm true love that. that she wants? Stay tuned, guys, for the next show on The Social Path. I'm your host, Harry Obama J. That's Amanda Lee. We love your time. Peace. Thank you. 